We left Miami early in the morning because we had to get out of the channel during slack tide. We were on our way to West Palm Beach to collect our Amazon packages. It was a bit cloudy, but there was a good wind. To West Palm Beach from Miami is approximately 68 nautical miles, so it would take us at least 10 hours. Look at that current, five and a half knots. We were very happy with the wind, the speed and the progress we were making. At 10 in the morning we were already passing by Fort Lauderdale. From there, it's another 40 nautical miles to West Palm Beach. The kids had insisted on waking up early together with us when we left in the morning, so in the afternoon they were a bit tired and they needed some cuddling time with mommy. We arrived at West Palm Beach around 4 in the afternoon and we found a spot to anchor in between the many boats there. We took the dinghy to shore to go grocery shopping 
and we picked up Toby with our Amazon packages and invited him on board for dinner. This is my friend Toby and he was really really uh, happy to take all of our Amazon packages here in West Palm Beach. Uh, he's living here in a good life and uh, we also now because we got all our packages. He, he, it's a lot of look at that. It's a lot of cabling and a lot of uh, cables and pliers and everything to uh, install our new um, alternator to uh, charge the lithium batteries. And I, I, we, we had a good food, a good wine, and thank you very it's much. Great thank times, you so good, much, really. good times thank here. You, this is the greatest family <laughs> I've ever been with. I've ever known. This is, this is beautiful, love it. Thanks, man. <laughs> beautiful family, take pictures of yourself. <laughs> we were very happy to meet up with Toby, but other than that, West Palm Beach is not our favorite place to be. It's crowded with boats, and we found it to be very expensive. So we continued our journey the next day. We will be on our way to Cape Canaveral to watch the Falcon 9 rocket launch. chain has piled up again. I have to crawl in. We're leaving Palm Beach already. There wasn't a lot of wind, so we sailed with our code zero. When we have the code zero up, it takes a bit more work to tack the boat than with the jib, which is self-tacking. The code zero needs to be almost completely furled before putting the bow through the wind and unfurling the code zero again on the other side.
Cape Canaveral is too far to reach in one day, especially at an average of 5.7 knots. And we didn't feel like sailing overnight, so we anchored near Port Salerno for the night. I can see them! <laughs> we'll need to leave early in the morning to make it to Cape Canaveral on time. This is definitely going to be an exciting experience. We can't wait to see the Falcon 9 rocket launch from our boat. But first we have some nerve-wracking moments coming up. We'll have to go through a lock for the first time and pass through a bridge with overhanging cables. So make sure you don't miss our next episode next week. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like our video and leave a comment.